Now, a couple broadcasts ago, I talked about things that both Muslims and Christians do not know. And I just talked about earlier today how a man by the name of Joshua, where the name Jesus comes from, saved nobody in the land of Jericho but a woman by the name of Rahab where we get Arab from. He was the Messiah of his time for this woman. Joshua was the way, the truth, and the life for Miss Rahab or Arab. That sounds familiar, don't it? Because this is right here in the Bible. Joshua of the Old Testament was a Messiah to a woman by the name of Rahab. She was in the land of Palestine. Her name is Rahab and she was saved. Why? Because of her good works. This is going into the religion of Islam. And also, if you look at Bathsheba, she's a picture of the religion of Islam as well. When you see Bathsheba, she's washing, she's performing wudu, ablution. She's a picture of Islam as well. And her husband was who? Who was her husband? A David. Okay, where Jesus come from. So all throughout the Bible, for those who are advanced in studying, we can see pieces of Jesus' life being the Messiah of the Arabs. And Rahab was the perfect picture. Rahab had a Messiah by the name of of Joshua. Arab had a Messiah by the name of Joshua. See? Arab had a Messiah by the name of Joshua. And just like Rahab had a Messiah by the name of Joshua, the Arabs had a Messiah by the name of Jesus. Okay, look at this stuff. This is going into the religion of Islam. Rahab was saved by her good works. That's a woman. That woman is a nation. That woman represents Islam. The Arabs. Okay, you saved by your works. Okay. This is the Old Testament. This is how the Old Testament was supposed to be. But what happened was the Israelite fathers began to make their sons atone for their sins. And they got to the point in history where everybody was expecting some type of sacrifice. This was the way the Pharisees believed. This is that belief system of that day. Although the Bible tells you in the book of Micah, what does the Lord want? He doesn't want your firstborn son for a sacrifice. Think on that. He don't want that. He don't want that. But for some reason, that was the belief system. That was the heresy of that day. And so, therefore, Christianity came from the Israelite father's error. And now the judgment has come. Because al Mahdi, I don't know if you know or not, but he is the God of the Bible. He is the God of the earth. And the reason why we have this symbol of the moon in Islam is because God wants you to open up your mind and look at the galaxy, look at the cosmos, okay? Allah is Lord of all the worlds. There's more worlds. 
And Al Madi was just the God of the Bible. He was the God of the earth. He was the ultimate father of Israel. That's all that is. That's all that is. So when the lie got out that Allah has a son, then the Quran says at that saying, which is a monstrosity, the very mountains would fall. Now the mountains is Lamanti. My dad name is Monty. I'm Lamanti. My dad name is Mountain. My name is the Mountain. Okay, I'm Al Mati, and so therefore I have to die because of Exodus chapter twenty three through five. I have to be the Lamb of Isaiah fifty three. I got the stripes. I'm paying the price because I am the father of the prophet Isa. Okay. Now, right here in the book of Joshua, I prove to you that there is something in that by that man being Joshua and him not saving nobody but the Arabs and her house that's going into all the Muslims. Right here in the real Injil, in the Gospel of Joshua, I like to call it, chapter 2 is giving you the real religion of the prophet Isa. It's Islam. Okay? This is why Christians stay away from the book of Joshua. It's the real Injil. If you go to chapter 7 and chapter 8, there's a situation that happens where the God of the Bible corrects Joshua like nobody's business. Okay? This is where we get the name Jesus from. Joshua. And the God of the Bible corrects him. Big time. Big time. And this agrees with the Quran. Because in the Quran it is said. Did you say to the people. Worship you and your mother as gods. You see the real angel. Is the book of Joshua. Just read the book of Joshua. Okay. Joshua was praying. He was on the floor. Jesus was on the floor praying. Because 36 of his men were killed. And that's when the God of the Bible told the prophet Joshua, you have sin in your camp. You got sin in your church. The letters of Paul, the teachings of Paul, okay? The first 12 spies failed, and that's um, going into the 12 disciples. That's going into the Christian movement. It failed. The two spies represents real Islam. So when you go in your Old Testament Bible and you read the Gospel of Joshua, chapter 2, you'll see how Jesus is the Messiah of the Arabians or the Muslims. What also you see is how Joshua was corrected by God and God told Joshua, I'm not going to be with you no more until you kill the accursed from among you. And what's amazing is in the Hadiths, the first thing Jesus will destroy when he returns is the cross. Okay, so the prophet Isa has to destroy that religion they built around him. Okay, that's his first assignment. That's the first thing he has to do. And the real gospel of Jesus is seen in the life of Joshua. Joshua was not the number one man. He was a servant to Moses. Joshua is the perfect balance of Jesus. Joshua was a slave to a man that was called God. Okay? Think about it. Joshua was an assistant to Moses. Okay? Moses was number one. Okay? Jesus wasn't. Jesus wasn't. Joshua wasn't. And that's the true balance of the prophet Isa. The father is greater 
than the prophet Isa. The Father is greater than him. There's stories in the Gospel of Joshua where Joshua was deceived. Okay? Not, 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 not with Moses. Joshua is a common name. Moses is not a common name. There's a difference. God always wanted you to see from the beginning that there's a difference between Moses and Jesus so that when you snap out of that spell we call Christianity and come to your senses, you can realize that God made Moses a God. He never made Joshua a God. He never made Jesus a God. No, he didn't do that. He didn't. He made him a slave. That's why the Quran says Jesus was a slave of Allah. He was a servant of servants. Why? Because his father was the chief cornerstone prophet. When Jesus said the stone which the builders rejected, he was talking about his father. He said his teachings was his father's. Everything Jesus did was his father's. He once got into a debate with the Pharisees about who was the Messiah. And he said, how can they call him son of David when David called him Lord? Because David knew that his father was the big Jesus. He knew that. He knew that his father was the lamb. He knew that his father was the Uriah. Jesus was the no-name baby that was birthed through the lie of David taking Bathsheba and killing Uriah. Okay, that's a picture of Christianity. So, the man got killed. That's the father. That's Almaty. And then that baby was sick, and then that baby had to die as well. That baby is what we call the prophet Isa. It has to die. According to the Quran for these Islamic scholars, Allah says, what if I chose to destroy Christ and his mother? You thought he was playing? That's why y'all lost in the sauce. There's a woman that has to die. Okay? The mother of the prophet Isa has to die. The last two witnesses is the father and the mother of the prophet Isa. And they have to die. Along with the prophet Isa. All because of the lie that Allah has a son. It reached the Lord of the worlds. That's why if you read your Bible, you're never going to find any phrases in the Bible where it talks about the God of the Bible being the God of all the worlds. Nope. The Bible is the God of the Bible. Almighty, Almighty, Lamanti, me. Okay? I made myself a man. Because I'm the ultimate servant of Allah. Islam is Lamantis. Islam is my first religion. Quran is on the cover. I'm on the cover of the Quran. And because of that lie, I had to come down here and become a man. And Islam, that religion, had to come down here before I came down here. That's why that religion was established. Okay, and I still had to come through Christianity because Islam is something that Allah didn't want me to jump in first. He wanted me to know the Bible first because that was the Muslims' error. That's why they can't see their Maddie today because they don't understand the songs of Solomon where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, name is mentioned. It mentions Muhammad second. It mentions the first Muhammad, the first one. The ruler of the Arabs first. The real Bilal. Okay. And so that was my testimony. Of even coming into this truth. I learned all of this stuff. Piece by piece. By my creator. By my teacher. Allah. And summing it all up. The things that they don't know. Muslims and Christians don't know is that al Mahdi is God the father of the Bible. They don't know that he is in Isaiah 49, that he is in Genesis 49. He is the real Shiloh, 
The real Shiloh is Almedi, the one who has the halo, the one who has the dye from in Diana, okay, who has the potion in his loins to re create the tribes of Israel, okay? They have to be redone all over. The new Jerusalem is the new tribes of Israel coming from one man's loins. Now, I have a son out there. He's already got him a tribe, okay? And I got some on the way, all right? I'm here to restore the tribes of Israel and rule over the Arabs. That's my assignment. And to clean up the earth. I'm walking around with the watch. I'm the real Flavor Flav. I'm the real Flaviano. Okay? I'm the real Jacob. I'm the real Israel. Okay? Everything that Jesus said he was, that was my voice speaking through him. Every time. And that's something that Muslims and Christians don't know. They fail to realize that al Mahdi is in the Bible. He's all through the Bible. He wrote the Bible. The Bible is his book. Not Allah's. Uh-uh. Allah is Lord of the worlds. Okay? The God of the Bible is just the God of the Bible. He's not the God of the worlds. The God of the worlds don't have a son. The God of the Bible does have a son. That's the difference between those two. When the God of the Bible would talk about my servant, I'm going to raise up my servant, he was talking about himself. He was talking about himself, and it went over your heads. It went over your heads. Because of the sin of Christianity, the Father had to visit the earth. Okay? And all praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, who saved me. Now, I have an album cover. I'm going to put it up. This album cover is called Grace vs. Law. This was my first professional album. I designed that cover. If you notice, I have a mallet. I have a judge. Why? why, why that's why, going why, into why, the bar why, stripes. Why, that's on my wrists. The bar stripes on my wrists recognize it is judgment okay that shows you i'm judge when you see those bar stripes it also lets you know that i'm paying the price i have to pay the price for what happened with the prophet isa as well and the mother of the prophet isa has to pay the price as well okay it's going down oh it's going down you're gonna see you're gonna see the book of Eli was a video Allah made especially for me. It's my assignment to restore true religion. Okay? I am that guy. I am that guy that has been entrusted to be Al Madi. And other things. Uh, Muslims and Christians don't know is when you say Al Madi, when you say Madi, you're saying die. When you say um, die, Quant, you're saying die. I came from in Diana, Indiana. Okay? Everything about my life has meaning. That die is going into us in my loins to recreate the tribes of Israel. Okay? When Allah revealed to me that the prophet Esau was my son, it bare witness with my spirit because I only have one son and his name is Jeremiah. Okay? It made sense. And so, other things Muslims and Christians do not know. Um, they don't know that al Mahdi knows the time of the end. They don't know that al Mahdi's strength is he's a Noah. He's like a lot, like the gospel says. 
He knows the end and he is charged by God to clean up the planet and he successfully does it. Okay? There's no man on earth that can be compared to him. All right? This is the Father. Even in the Mormons, the Book of Mormons testify of me. It says the Lord shall minister in a tabernacle of clay. Now, why does it say clay? It's because it's my nation. Now, go to Daniel 2, 3, 4. Now, I'm the man that's been preaching 2034. It's all over. Now, I'm going to show you real quick how this is my nation. Go to verse 34. Verse 34. The year it's all over. Look what it says. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and what? Clay. And break them to pieces. This is my nation. Okay. When Al Maddie's clock runs out, the nations will be allowed to overcome the last two witnesses. Okay. So that's that with those two stones, the two olive trees, the two witnesses, the head apostle, the foot apostle, the last two witnesses. I like to call them the toes, the twin towers. Um, that is going to happen 2034, most definitely. Okay. Then it talks about rows. Okay. It talks about the last witness. That's a female. About rose shall blossom. Okay, this stuff is all real prophecy. Okay, now this is the stuff that has to go in the books. It has to go in the books. Okay, so a few other things they don't know. They don't know that when the prophet Muhammad said that the mountains ahead uh, was the mountains that he loved. And when he said the mountains love him. He was using a metaphor. He was basically speaking of Monty and Lamonti. He was talking about my name agreeing with his father's name. Okay. All prophets do not tell everything to the people. And... We've been carrying this dead body for so long of Christianity. And it has to be dealt with in 2034. We have to deal with the whole shebang. And if I wasn't here, judgment would have already struck. And I was let known that. About a month or so after, I was already told the end was going to be September 16, 2034. Okay. So, every step of the way, um, he guides me. He guides me. He know my pains. He know my struggles. Okay. I am the first Adam, the Adam that never dropped the ball. All right. Um, other things Muslims and Christians fail to recognize is that Islam is a religion that came from Israel from the get-go. From the get-go. When the Quran talks about Abraham, Isaac, and all of them being Muslims, okay, um, when it talks about that, that's talking about the religion that's always been around. The Prophet Muhammad, he could not put his face on that. That did not belong to him. He was told he's not a father. He was told he's not a supervisor. He was told he's not a poet because all that is coming in the package of al Mahdi. That's coming in the real Cassius Clay, the real Muhammad Ali, the real comforter. Okay? Go to the 34th book of the Bible. It's Naham. That means comforter. 
the real comforter. I come from the fort. I come from the fort. Look it up. You'll see Muhammad Ali. What a comforter out on the bed. Cassius Clay, man. I'm the real Muhammad Ali. There always was a real Muhammad before the Arabian Muhammad. And that's where the Muslims have failed. Okay, Al Mahdi is the father. Al Mahdi is the ultimate copy of the Moses and Aaron. Moses was the God, Aaron was the prophet. In heaven, Al Mahdi was the prophet, and Allah was the God. Okay? And that's the real truth. Other things Muslims don't know. We talked about the last witness being a female. They don't know about that. They don't know about the last two witnesses that are in Revelation 11, which is going perfectly into uh, 9-11, the Twin Towers. Um, I like to call it the two toes. The two towers that's going to fall in the same day. The two last witnesses, that's male and female. Okay. That's going to happen. That's going down. Um, other things, let me think of, they don't know. They don't know that Jesus talked about in the Gospels that if you receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man, you'll receive a righteous man reward. That if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you'll receive a prophet's reward. What he meant by that was, look, if you receive Mohammed, okay, you'll be receiving al Mahdi in Mohammed's name. So the Muslims were receiving the ruler of the Arabs from the beginning. Through the name of Muhammad, through the servant we chose. He was a servant. He wasn't an heir. He wasn't an heir. No, he wasn't an heir. He was a servant. They were still getting into paradise and getting all the blessings that the Quran promises the Muslims. But once the stone came down here, and now word is getting out that al Mahdi is here, and if they reject that, then what they're doing is they're cutting off their own water. They're going to be like the Jews that got their water line cut off. They're going to die out. They're not. They're going into the judgment. Because you can't reject the stone on the side of the Kaaba. You can't reject the white stone that came down here and became blank because of the sins of the people. This man is a rock. This man is the Rockefeller. This man is the man that looks like Jay-Z. This man is Daquan Lamonte Clay. All right? You can't reject the stone that's on the side of the Kaaba. The prophet Isa said the stone which the builders rejected is the chief cornerstone. In other words, he said, my father, al Madi." is the chief prophet. He's the chief prophet. That's all that's going into. And let me tell you something. I would never try to be something I'm not. Never ever try to be something I'm not. Everything I'm doing, every place I'm going, every place I'm at is calling me D, 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 man. I'm the Maddy. Okay? Everybody is knowing in the spiritual realm, they might not be able to see me, but they can notice that it's D, D, it's daddy, it's daddy, and there is a mommy too, okay, that has to die, okay, it goes down, it goes down, we have truth right here in the house of David, other things Muslims and Christians don't know, that... Al Mahdi will revise the law. This is seen in the movie, The Book of Eli. I will revise the law. I will rewrite, revise the law. That's why I have copies of my first album called Word on the Street. 
All right. I'm going to put the word on the street, just like the book of Eli. It is going to happen. All these movies of a strong black heroic figure is me. I am the A. I am the Z. I am the real Rockefeller. I'm Lamonte. I'm El Monte. Okay. How you pronounce it? How you pronounce it? I'm El Matty. Okay. I'm the real Rockefeller. Allah revealed to me that I was in heaven my whole time. This whole time. This whole time. I came down here in 1982. And I remembered it. And it always bothered me. I never knew until this year. When he revealed it to me. I know why. I've been in heaven this whole time. Okay. And Y2K. I was 18 years old. The seal of the real Deuteronomy 1818 prophet that came from Israel, not Ishmael. Okay, I'm al Mahdi. I'm the father of your prophet, the prophet Muhammad. If you honored the prophet Muhammad, how much should you honor me? If you honored the prophet Isa, how much more should you honor me? Okay, the money has my name on it. I have the day of Allah bearing his shin. That's why it's called Washington, D.C. D.C. is 34. I'm the real Denzel Washington that knows the end. I have the tattoo on my arm. Okay, I'm walking around with the Rolex. Why do you think Washington, D.C. is called Washington, D.C.? Because there's a brother walking around that looked like Denzel Washington that knows the N-34. That's all that's going into. And Shin is going into the day when Allah bears his Shin. And that's going into judgments. Muslims know. Muslims know. Okay. And the wash. The wash is going into Wa'ashadu. Wa'ashadu, okay, wash. Allah is going to bear shin. Nine years that's been revealed to me. Little are you grateful. Little are you grateful. You can't deny that. This is the real truth, okay? I'm the man that's walking around with a time bomb, okay? You know how those people strap bombs to their chest? You know, the, the Arabs do that? You know, I'm that guy. I know the end. I know the end. I pray every time you see 34, you shake. I pray when you go to work, your boss says 34. Okay, I pray when you wake up and you look at the clock and it says 34. To the point that you can't ignore. That you can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. Because the truth is right before your eyes. You can't ignore it. This truth is right before your eyes. You can't ignore it. This truth is right before your eyes. You can't ignore it. This truth is right before your eyes. You can't ignore it. Also, Muslims and Christians don't know that al Mahdi will take over. The praise music, music is coming back, dancing is coming back, everything comes back, okay? Being Al Matty is like your last call for alcohol, okay? I have nine years to revise the law, okay? This is my celebration, this is my party, all right? I know I have to die, and I have to revise the law. I'm walking around with the eraser, that's why they called Joe Prophet the Eraser. That was really my name. All those names they put on the Prophet Muhammad is really Al Mahdi's names. <laughs> okay. You were receiving Al Mahdi through the Prophet Muhammad. That's what you was doing. Okay. You were receiving Al Mahdi through Muhammad. That's what you was doing. That's exactly what you was doing. But now the stone that once was whiter than milk has come down here. The Jay-Z guy, the Rockefeller, okay, Lamonte, Monty, the stone on the side of the Kaaba that's being rejected. 
Mr. Mad. Mr. Mad D. Yeah. I know who I am. I'm Mr. Mad D. You better pray Allah has mercy. Pray Allah has mercy on my soul. Pray Allah has mercy on my soul. Keep me in my remembrance of being merciful. All praises is due to my creator. We put it down. We tackled a bunch of topics. We tackled um, the die to restart the tribes of Israel. We tackled the last witnesses. We tackled um, the truth about um, Islam in Joshua chapter 2. The two spies, the prophet Muhammad and al Mahdi. okay? And we're not talking about the Arabian prophet Muhammad. We're talking about the mantle. The mantle is the vest. The mantle is the office. Inside a Lamonte, you can spell mantle, okay? Everybody's been wearing my coat. They've been wearing my coat. They've been wearing my coat, okay? Now, I'm going to help you Muslims understand this real quick. This is how I'm going to help you. You don't understand how there's many Mohammeds. Right now, Mohammed is one of the most popular boy names, there's many Mohammeds. Why is that? Why didn't we just make only one Muhammad? Why didn't we do that? The reason why we made many Mohammeds, because all the prophets were nothing but many Mohammeds. All of them. The prophet Isa, the prophet Noah, the prophet Jonah, they all were Mohammeds. They all were. That's the coat. That's the mantle. That's why Mohammed is a popular boy name. Okay? Now, the difference between all the other prophets is all the prophets, they were nothing but my microphone. What sets me apart from all the other prophets is I am Allah's microphone. It's a big difference. It's a huge difference but the real name the real name of the religion of islam is lamantis that's me i'm lamanti it's lamantis it's the quan it's daiquan the real rasulallah okay the father the stone the rejected one the lamb okay all right me Yes, the ruler of the Arabs, Song of Solomon, Mr. Solo Man, the one man army, me. Yeah, yeah, that's real true. 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 Won't nobody be able to preach like this after me because I am the equivalent of everything Jesus was saying that y'all thought he was saying about himself. Everything that Jesus was doing was glorifying his father, al -Mahdi. Boom, okay? Allah has no sons, but Christianity displeased him so much that he sent his S-U-N down here. The ultimate lamb, Lamanti, to die. Along with the mother and along with the son. Y'all son. Okay. The one you all made a god out of. And his mother. Locked his dad out. Y'all don't even give the father any credit. Y'all put it all on his son and the mother. So that family of Israel must die. But it will Restart because I am the branch and I've already have one son. Okay, and I have more to make up the tribes of Israel. 
Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who will be in the real truth.